Hello everyone, this is Bat Hacker playing one of my favorite games. This is Cave Story, uh, actually Cave Story Plus. Uh, the original version is free, but uh, my buddy Neil was nice enough to buy it for me. Uh, this has updated graphics and updated music, but I like the older music a little bit better, so I'm going to be playing it with the old style music. So, uh, I'm just going to be playing through it on uh, original, aka normal mode. Not exactly sure how hard hard mode is just yet, but uh, since I know where everything is already, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do normal mode. So we open on this guy. His name's Kazuma, and he's trying to uh, get a hold of his uh, sister, Sue. I'm going to be skipping most of the dialogue, because it's not really relevant to the actual gameplay just yet. Okay, just go ahead and validate my save file right there. Uh, as you can see, this is me. I'm walking around. Opening doors. I don't have any means of attack just yet, but that's what we're going to get right now. But first, I'm going to get this life capsule. First one's a freebie. You can see my health up there in the top left. Uh, I've got six health right now. That level zero actually refers to your weapon. But since I don't have one yet, it's not really relevant. Uh, just yet. So we come into the Hermit Gunsmith shop. He's sleeping, so of course we're going to rob him. And we get the Polar Star. First weapon in the game. Okay, so we're back to this guy. He's still searching for Sue, his sister, because he's stuck in this room. And apparently, someone is looking for Sue. So we're going to find out. So, uh... That's a Fuller Star. Very, very basic weapon. Pretty short range. Uh, but you notice we've now gone up to level 1 up there in the corner. That's because you can actually level up the gun you're using at the moment by picking up these little golden triangles. You can see the bar filled up a little bit. Uh, as your gun levels up, it gets more powerful, uh, does more damage, or has additional effects to it. And uh, level 3 is the maximum it can go to. If you take damage, your gun starts to level down, so you obviously want to avoid getting hurt for more than one reason. And uh, touching those red spikes, I think, is still instant death. Uh, I don't think I have enough life to actually uh, absorb a hit from one of those. Okay. So, I did go over here first because I already knew I couldn't uh, proceed without this gun come up on this door, it'll grow a weird eye, and touching it would hurt us. Oh, okay, my gun leveled up, so you can see now, it shoots uh, two bullets, it's a little bit longer range now. If I get hurt, it can actually level back down to the single shots. And... <laughs> He's so hungry he ate a cockroach. LOL, just kidding. Okay, so now we come into the town of the Mimigas, which are these weird rabbit-like people. And, uh, anyway, they're talking about Sue, and how Taroko on the right is protecting her, while King on the left wants to turn her over to the doctor who is apparently looking for her to protect the rest of the Mamigas from getting kidnapped or killed. And we'll find out who the doctor is later. Ah! But first I gotta go over here. If I can remember how to jump. Sheesh. Okay, why why am I having such a problem with this? I've never... There we go, thank you. Don't need to talk to that guy. We need to pick this up. There we are. And you can see uh, Taroko, I guess, was hiding out over here while we were picking that up. Okay, and Sue's apparently in a house that Taroko has the key to. So we're going to chase Taroko because we're going to be looking for Sue here in a minute. And he's in here. And I'm sorry for having to do that, but... Uh, that's the only way to get him to stop running in circles, holding a stick. Yeah, uh, go through all the trouble of picking up that pendant and Taroko doesn't even want it. Oh yeah! So that's uh, Balrog, he just burst in like the Kool-Aid man. And uh, that's, uh, I forget what her name is. Oh yeah, Misery. They're both agents of the Doctor, 
going after uh, Sue, and they think Taroko is Sue, kidnap her, and those two take off. Not exactly sure what Balrog is supposed to be. He looks like a TV. Okay, so he asked me if I want to fight. I can actually refuse to fight him and he'll just leave, but uh, why not? Let's have a boss fight, because it's extra experience. And this is not all that difficult. He just kind of runs around and jumps at you. And then says he'll remember this. We'll be seeing much more of him as the game goes on. Okay, so an extra 5 experience for 10 seconds of my time. Not altogether bad. Okay. So I'm going to head up here now. And, oh! I'm going to be grabbing... Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. I don't need the map. The map's over there. You'll see it in the little chest when I walk to the right, but uh, I'm not even going to bother with it. I never end up using it. I know exactly where I'm going. Okay. Taroka's been kidnapped. And now he's not guarding that door to the cemetery anymore. I'm not sure if I have to talk to him or not so that I can pick up the key from Arthur's grave. Arthur owns that house. There we are. That Sue is apparently in. Don't even worry about it. I'm not sure who this guy with the knife is supposed to be. But, uh, he explodes into experience. That's always good. Uh, I can't actually reach that door just yet. We come back here actually much later. Okay. So now we have Arthur's key to his house. go backwards. You know what, just to say I did, I'm going to grab that uh, map real quick. There we are. And this gives us a crummy little map. You can see here. Doesn't really do a whole lot for us. So now I'm going to go into Arthur's house. Well, I'm going to save it real quick. And, uh, let's see. Kazuma's been talking to Sue, supposedly, through this computer. Uh, and then we've opened the teleporter to the next area, which can be considered the first level of the game. This is the egg corridor. Okay. Now, you can see a lot's going on right now. Uh, that little white thing on the bottom of the screen is bad news for us. If we happen to get touched by it, it's instant death. But of course that does not bother me. I am fearless. Grabbing life capsules and taking names. So, let's start, uh, let's start doing some battle here. Ah, level 3. Now you can see I can continue to uh, gain experience past level 3. But uh, this actually doesn't upgrade my gun, just more provides a buffer in case I get hit. It won't level down to level 2 right away. Yeah, see, it hits max. This just means uh, if I get hit, it won't level down right away. Oh, who's this? Oh yeah, and that big thing on the right, obviously pretty evil. He's beating some people up. Sorry, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to spoil exactly what's going on there just yet. Because we're going to find out in the course of the story. In the meantime, I'm picking up this life capsule. Oh, yes. So I've already really increased my life here. I'm up at 13. Always kind of nice. Oh! I got hit. <laughs> I didn't see that guy down there. Okay. You can see we can get into egg number 6 here. 
I don't know why there's an ID card on the inside of the egg. But, you know. And just, uh, just so you know, uh, you're not left to find that out on your own. <laughs> there is a computer that actually gives you the hint that it is in uh, egg number six. Same thing with where we actually take the ID card is inside of one of the other eggs. Yeah, this is actually the room where it would tell us, oh hey, egg number six and egg number one are not responding. Okay. So now we have our second weapon of the game, uh, the Missile Launcher. It does heavy damage, but it, it can only carry uh, 10 missiles at a time, as of now. So I'm going to be saving it, especially when it's, you know, such low level. It's really ammo inefficient. Granted, you can get additional ammo from actually hurting, in uh, or from uh, killing enemies. Oh, another interesting concept. I can actually kill enemies with one gun and then switch to another gun and pick up the uh, uh, experience triangles. And it does actually count and will uh, kind of cross-level uh, my ammunition. Alright, so now we're at level 2. We're shooting larger missiles that explode and create larger explosions. But it's still rather inefficient until I get to level 3. So now we're in egg number one. We pick up that. And it removes that little red swirly shield that I was looking at a second ago. I'm going to see if uh, these guys will level up my gun the rest of the way. Oh yes, and if you get hit, it only levels down the weapon you're currently carrying, so it's not that big of an issue if, say, we're holding the Polar Star and I get hit. It actually has more resistance to leveling down than, say, the Missile Launcher does. Okay, so now we're fighting this guy. And you can see why I wanted to level this thing up. Oh, I'm out of ammo now, though. So I'm just gonna wail on him with a Polar Star. And we win! We find out that that monster was an Amiga all along. Yay! We killed a small rabbit thing. In we go. Man, she's uppity. Yes, I did. She gets mad if you say... <laughs> you saved her. If you say no, she just kind of like... It. Oh, okay. Do 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 dialogue. Okay, moving on. All right, I think that's good for episode one. I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. Start a new recording. Thank you very much for watching. See you in part two.